That is the sound of the Lydian mode. And if you want to learn how to create this cool, dreamy, futuristic sort of sound, then stick around because I'm going to be showing you how to do just that in today's video. So today's video, all about the Lydian mode. I'm going to show you how to play the Lydian mode. I'm going to show you how to apply it. I'm going to show you what chords might be best to use for the Lydian mode. I'm going to show you the best notes to target to make sure you get that characteristic sound of Lydian. And I've got a lick at the end using the Lydian mode in action so you can see what I did to create a cool Lydian solo. So let's get straight into it. I want you to see the Lydian scale as its own scale. Don't think about it being derived from the major scale or whatever. We're just gonna look at Lydian scale as if it's its own scale. So this scale is constructed from a root, second, third, sharp fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So it is very, very similar to a major scale, except that fourth note is raised by a semitone. And that is a very essential note to the Lydian mode and the Lydian sound. So let's take a look at a few different ways we could play the Lydian scale, the Lydian mode. We are gonna use a root note of A. So we are gonna play the six string version first of all. So that's five, seven, nine on the low E string. Six, seven, nine on the A string. Six, seven, nine on the D string. Six, eight, nine on the G string. Seven, nine, 10 on the B string. And seven, nine, 11 on the high E string. And for a five string version, we could play 12, 14, 16 on the A string, 13, 14, 16 on the D string, 13, 14, 16 on the G string, 14, 16, 17 on the B string and 14, 16, 17 on the high E string. So those are two ways of playing the scale. I'm gonna show you another way which really, really encapsulates the sound of Lydian in a moment, but let's talk about the chords. So it's played over a major chord. So when you hear a major chord, you could probably play Lydian. Even better if you have a major seven chord. And we can include that sharp fourth, which I said is our characteristic Lydian sound. Uh, if we can include that into the chord, then we get a very cool Lydian sound. So uh, one way I like to do is play this like major nine chord here. And add the sharp 11 at the top. So what I'm playing is the fifth fret of the low E string, fourth fret of the A, sixth fret of the D, and the fourth fret of the G and B strings. And another way you could play it up here is 12 on the A string, 11 on the D string, 13 on the G string, 12 on the B, and 11 on the high E. So that's a really cool chord. Now, if you want to create a chord progression in Lydian, let me show you how to do just that. So the seven chords that are contained within Lydian are A major, B major, C sharp minor, D sharp diminished, E major, uh, F sharp minor, and G sharp minor. Now, this goes for all modes, really. You want to really, really focus on that, that first chord, the A major, yeah? You really want to stay on there as much as possible. The thing with Lydian is it sounds very kind of unresolved, and you really want to try and convince the listener that this A is the root note. And if you go too far away and kind of deviate too far from A, it could run the risk of sounding like you're heading towards major or minor, so... See, I played the five chord there, which is E major. It sounds like I've just resolved to E major. So the best way to kind of combat this is to play chords seven and chords two, which are obviously G sharp minor and B major. So stay on that A major for as long as really you can. <laughs> just quickly move to either G sharp minor or B major and that works. Something else you could do, and this will allow you to use a lot more chords, is to drone out that A. So if I drone that A and play an A triad on the D, G and B strings, so that's just the second fret of the D, G and B strings, standard A chord as you would probably know. Now move that up to a B chord keep that low A ringing out. You get a really Lydian sound there. 
could even use an E major chord. And that creates a really nice Lydian sound as well. If you keep that A droning, it really gets the listener accustomed to that A as the root note. So let's take a listen to a lick that I've written in Lydian and we'll analyze that in a second. So what I've done with that lick is I've used the Lydian pentatonic scale. Now the Lydian pentatonic scale just takes all the important notes from Lydian and condenses that into a five note scale. So what we're doing is we're playing the root, the third, the sharp fourth, which is our characteristic note, the fifth, and the seventh. So let me show you a really cool shape that you can use to play the Lydian pentatonic scale. So I am playing four five on the low E string and four six seven on the A string. And you might have noticed I'm starting on the seventh there. Seventh root, third, sharp fourth, fifth. Okay, this two string pattern, you can repeat an octave higher. So if I start at the sixth fret of the D string, we, I, I can do the same shape and it's the same thing. And the same thing again, an octave higher, starting on the ninth fret of the B string. And just messing around with those five notes will really help achieve a Lydian sound. But some tips for really locking into that Lydian sound is to target that sharp fourth quite a lot. So you like the beginning of that lick, I'm playing that sharp fourth, bending up to the fifth and bending it back down to the sharp fourth. And the most important thing when you're playing Lydian is to really end your licks on that root note. Okay. Ending it on that root note really lets the listener know, oh, this is Lydian. Just like with your chord progressions, you wanna emphasize that root note as much as possible. And that's really the key with most modes. Lydian in particular, just really, really emphasize that root note, if I haven't said it enough already. So that was my lesson on Lydian. I hope you enjoyed it. Would you like to see some lessons on some more modes? Maybe the melodic minor modes individually or the harmonic minor modes individually. If you would, let me know down in the comments. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified every single time I release a new video. And also head down to the description and check out the first two chapters of my book, Chord Charisma, which I'm offering for free. In those first two chapters, I'm gonna show you how to write a basic chord progression, but then develop it into a more advanced and sophisticated idea by using chord extensions like sixths, sevenths, ninths, elevenths, and thirteenths. And there's loads of chord shapes for every single one of those chords. I'm sure you'll find a lot of inspiration from it. So definitely go and check that out if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.